What's up, wonderful people? How are you today? Uh, my name is Andrea, and today, today is something different than the usual gaming contents I upload. So today we talk about utilities. My hope is to give you some uh, tools uh, for your toolbox in case you wanna, I don't know, whatever. You want to record your gameplay, you wanna start streaming, not actually streaming, but you wanna start uploading videos on YouTube or just recording uh, your gameplay for to share with your friends, whatever. Or maybe you are a professionist, you are an archi architecture, 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 architect and maybe you want to just record your workflow on your screen or your PC on your Mac so today is about how to record your screen your computer screen before starting let me just get a sip of my hot tea because outside is really really cold and you know never hurt okay good it's really hot and yeah, of course we are in Italy guys, it's not super cold like in Canada, but anyway, it's very cold. And then intro and then we will start. So for the today's tutorial, what we are going to use is OBS. OBS is the most commonly known as the best and the most common used uh, software to record the PC screen and also to manage the streaming live sessions. OBS is a free software, you can download it right clicking on the, on the link that I'm going to put in the description. When you click on there and you download it, click, you just have to install it, click, bloop, and when it is installed, boom, this is what you are gonna find in front of you. This is the display you have. So in very front center of the screen, you have a black window that this is gonna be the main window, the output window that you are gonna get out of your recording. Then on the bottom line of the screen, you have five different menus. On the left, you have scenes where you can build a different setup for different for example, I don't know, occasions, like if you have a setup for the streaming live, you can have a setup for recording the, a specific game or another game or whatever it is. Then we have sources. This is very important because in sources, we are gonna add all the things we want to record there that are gonna appear in our screen. Then in the center, we have the mixer to adjust the audio. Then the scene transition, this is useful only for the streaming live session. And then we have controls where we have all our menus and settings and stuff like that. So in our source window, we are gonna start adding new devices, new things we wanna record. So right click in source, add. And if we want to just record the PC screen, the things we have to do is to click on display capture. Gloom. Display capture, here we can write, for example, okay, this is my screen. Et voila, poof. And here it is. So what you get is an infinite, uh, infinite window tunnel. I don't know how to call it. So here, if you have two monitors or two screens, you can just click and here and select which one of the screen you want to record. In my case, I have only one screen right now. So I'm going to click only on to this display number zero. As you can see, there is the resolution is 1080p. Capture cursor in case you want to keep your the arrow of your mouse around and then you click OK. Boom! You have your beautiful screen ready to be recorded. Then let's imagine that we want to record a specific app, a specific program or a specific game. So what we have to do is very simple. Again, in our sources, we right click here, we click add and we can add the game capture, for example. In this case, the software is going to get only the window of the game. So game capture, uh, let's call it Cuphead, is the game that they have now open in the background. So OK, and here, capture any full screen application? No, let's say we want to really to capture a specific window. So we select, for example, the window is Cuphead, boom, et voila. Title, OK, we don't, we don't care about all the rest. We keep all the other options like it is now, so just copy mine in case, and then you click OK. 
and boom, we have our beautiful program in our output screen. Now, let's imagine we wanna add the webcam or a video source where there is our, our face into it. So let's imagine we have a camera, like I have, a webcam. So we, again, on sources, we right click on sources, add, and in this case, we are gonna click on video capture device, boom. Video capture device, I have a Logitech, so I'm gonna Logitech C922, bloom, okay. Here it is, and we have our beautiful, with, yeah, microphone is getting in my face, ProStream webcam. So you can manage right here the quality and the dimension of the webcam screen. In this case, I'm gonna keep, uh, keep it on default, just for the sake of the tutorial to don't overload you with information, but you can play through the different details. If you wanted some advice or suggestion, just let me know in the comments and maybe I can give you some support, okay? Then you click OK and here you are, you have your beautiful webcam, of course you can drag and drop the angles to make it larger or smaller, wow it's really weird now where I have to look, here or there, anyway sorry, I'm a little bit overwhelmed by eyes that are watching at me. Now let's imagine we want to add some beautiful stuff, uh, some uh, still images in our in our composition, so for example a frame for our face cam, so what we have to do is to right click into the sources tab, add image, we go, let's call it face cam, face cam, boom, and then we go into our hard drive, let's pick up the frame and boom, here we have our beautiful frame, we can reduce it as we did already for our face cam uh, footage and then here it is, more or less, okay, so the frame is complete. Last but not least, what we need to add, if we want to record our uh, commentary, we need to add the mic. So to add the microphone is the same story as we have already done. So we go on sources, right click here, add, this time we, we need to click on audio input capture. We click here and here we can write the name of our microphone. So in my case, I have a Rode mic, so bloop, Rode, okay, default, here, of course, your microphone needs to be already connected into the computer, so in this case, I'm gonna click here and select again Rode. Okay, boom. Now we have a track, a new track in our mixer panel, a track bar, uh, that is indicating the level of the volume of our microphone. Okay, in this case, guys, remember always, if you are adding commentary, to keep the desktop audio lower than the Rode uh, the door, sorry, the microphone one, okay, otherwise your voice is gonna struggle to be heard by people. And that's it, now that we have, just to recap, we have our game running, we have our face cam uh, with the webcam, we have a beautiful frame around the face cam, we have also added the microphone, what we need to do now is just to start recording. So, click on the right of your panel in controls, click start recording, and enjoy. And when you are done, stop recording, check out in setting where your footage has been saved. So if you look, you are gonna find it on output, recording, recording path. Of course, you can personalize the folder anytime where you want, whatever you want, as you want. Alright guys, I really hope to have helped you, some one of you. Uh, in case you have issues guys, in case you have something that is not working, you have doubts, you have questions, you have uh, whatever, uh, if I can help, just drop me a line below into the comments and we can check it together. Alright. Hmm. The scent of this is so good, but so good. Anyway guys, okay, thank you very much for watching guys, remember to put a like if you enjoyed the video, if you find it useful, subscribe, if you're not subscribed yet, don't remember, don't, don't remember, don't forget the notification bell, in case you wanna know when I'm gonna upload new videos, and guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you very, very, very soon in the next one, goodbye, see you soon.